Kai Karda, Falter Rash, um Scrummy Malgoyf, Asveg Fake and Jarnak Fisha and Show. Uh if you wouldn't mind following the Instagram page, Instagram.com forward slash spree underscore sna underscore screwdaha. Or else check out the YouTube page which you're probably looking at right now, um Spree and Screwdaha on YouTube. So if you just um put type that into the search bar, you'll find all our videos. And uh, thanks million for your support. If you wouldn't mind liking, sharing um both the Instagram page and the YouTube page, it really goes a long way to make sure everything um is um everything is support and stuff like that it means a lot to me. So thanks very much and let's get into today's lesson. Our main focus is going to be on Ungnorud, on Garchkenda Dear Jenny Arena. So this is the uh, ordinary level and higher level um optional piece. So you either this or um, I think it's Lasser Aquila. Um or no sorry, to run Shal in Nepal is the other option. So like do you know we what I'm going to look at today is Ungnorud. So this is part of your prose question where 30 marks. Um usually I would recommend you spend 30 minutes on the paper. Um, very, very important that you have a kind of um a plan written out no matter what question it is. So like what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna go through the whole story. Um, I'm just going to go through the, the techniques used in the story, kind of the key points and stuff like that. So like this will help to be kind of like naughty blots um, on your on your answers, like something to talk about. So like let's let's get into it and we'll see how we get on. So I suppose we'll look at the character area first, all right? So we're just going to run through and kind of the, the characters overall. Obviously, our pre of character is Jimmy, and uh, or as he was called, nicknamed Unfair Old to Sue, because he wasn't a big drinker like Joe. He, as you all know, he had much more interest in being home with his family, and he was kind of did it of necessity more than anything, going to the pub every Friday. We have Sarah, who is his bank, Kayla, his wife. We have the posse, John, who was four, and then his coupe Bla, so his twins, Elizabeth and Margaret, who were six months old each. In the lads bar, we have Mickey, we have Billy, we have Liz, um, who's the Frastily in Jasmine Palace, and we also have the Scott the Day Gory, so be a hook. Also with the teenagers that were in the Chinese restaurant that were drunk off the Fien Ul. And then we also have the Day Gory Sikardin, who ended up shooting Jimmy in the end. So like they're our main characters, but obviously when we're looking at it, our main character obviously is Jimmy, and he's the person that we'll be focusing on. So like I said, I'm not going to look at the story at all. I'm going to look more at the kind of, um, I'm going to look more at the, the techniques used by the author, Deirdre Nivarina. Um, so like, I'm just going to look at the cutter snuff first of all. So like, this is about two slides on. So this side, and the next slide. And what we're basically looking at here is the cutter snuff. So we're looking at the contrast between aspects of the story and how they differ completely. So like, Point number one, like Dagor is a beer hook, August Sakar. So like there's obviously a massive difference and a massive contrast between the messing of the drunk teenagers and the Chinese compared to the teenagers that were in the car that end up murdering um Jimmy. So then we also have Jimmy who is a very loving family man who's very kind of um focused on his family. So he's dealish like he's fagrock. So he's loyal and he is responsible for his family, whereas Liz's um son's father um has nothing to do with his son. He just up and left. So like as soon as things got hard, he left. Like so that's a big thing here, and we have massive contrast between a loving father and then an absentee father really. Um we have the lad Savar, Ugsnabukali Savia Hook. So like Joe, you have the 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 lads in the pub after a bit of work and they're able to kind of in the pub they're drinking, they're they're kind of they know their surroundings, they know how much they can drink, etc. Whereas with um the the boys in the Chinese, like Joe, oh, they're like it's like ten o'clock on the Friday night, let's say, like and they're very, very drunk, they barely have money to, to buy to buy food in the Chinese. So like Joe, oh, there's a there's a, obviously a contrast to immaturity um there. So like Joe, you could say like the lads of Arthur she'd Abi, um Igum Broad the Degori Tom Me Abi. Uh, we have Jimmy, I guess Billy. All right, so like Jimmy would be a very responsible person and a very hard working person. Whereas Billy was so drunk going to work one day that Jimmy had to help him um, put down the bricks and kind of cover from. So we see kind of like this normal man who Jimmy is just kind of like taking care of his colleagues as well and looking after them and stuff. Um, you have Bioga Savar, Agus of Bali, or Deuce, Akon Chin, Leshner Lani, and Labi, Vyokshay Q, and so obviously we have contrast between the liveliness in the pub and then 
like how quiet the house will be once the kids are back to bed and stuff like that as well. A uh, folk dog is tax, solus dog is Dirkidus, and then even the Triblodi in the Ralta, alright, so like obviously the Troubles, um, there's like, you know, like so much contrast between like people that weren't going through the troubles and didn't fear for their lives compared to like the terrible scenes that happened within the troubles and like a massive thing if you want to learn more about the troubles is if you just kind of like first of all ask your history teacher to be more kind of inclined and would be more knowledgeable on the troubles than i would but um like if you would look on any youtube or even watch the, the show dairy girls like you know you can see a lot of references to the troubles even for the very first scene when they're talking about disposing of bombs so like there was bombs put in and stuff like that and it was just a normal thing and like that's something that i'll get to in a second so like obviously the troubles had a, um, a big part to play so like when continuing on with the colors knocked you have like you know, the contrast between jimmy's house um when they first bought the house from the housing executive versus when sarah kind of like did it up herself do you know what i mean like she he says when sarah buy a death so she made a home out of it like and that's something that's really, really important to kind of to to mention like and then you have one of the main things here is like they say like in relationships opposites attract and like that couldn't be more of the case when it comes to jimmy and sarah like do you know what i mean so like jimmy a very quiet person as we can see like joey doesn't want any confrontation just kind of wants to get along with things whereas sarah is very kind of um uderosa. she's very authoritative and like she's worried about what like what other people think of her like so she doesn't want people thinking that jimmy is whipped or doesn't want um people to kind of like um to think bad about her so like that's why like even though she's very bro dude she's very pro um like you know she kind of she's very kind of she won't give in like even though like that probably having jimmy at home on a friday night with the twins and with her four-year-old john like it probably would have made life much easier for them and uh, for herself but like Joe, she didn't want everyone thinking that he was under the thumb or whipped so therefore like she kind of refused his help like and that's massive and uh, and that's something that like joe we can like really talk about like her character and like it also explains like something that we talk about when we talk about the relationship stuff like that as well so i suppose that leads us on to the next question which is cod a on ganara like so ganara we mean we know means the usual it's like the usual but like when we think about deeper like we're not just talking about the usual thing for the character like so much more can be taught about it when we're looking at it. like that's why we have to ask these questions as well and it's something that you could throw into your answer if you wanted like do you know what i mean there's like a lot of things you can run with like so like kind of ganaro dun uder what's the usual thing for the author okay so we have deirdre nigrina she grew up she must have grown up in in the north if she's has this insight into life there so like what was the normal thing for her in her daily life and then we have obviously the character the jimmy like Joe you know, kind of like we were, we're we only get an insight into his usual Friday night but what was what was every other day like for him uh you've the winter Belfast that so like it's during the troubles what was it like for the people in Belfast kind of on Gnora done a lads of bear what are what was the usual thing for the lads in the pub cut it in on Gnora done a day gory to like so like was this your usual thing to go to the Chinese after getting drunk after a few bottles of cider and stuff like that like you know and then kind of said they break on Gnav and Gwina Jimmy said there so how did the usual thing work against Jimmy in the end and that's something that is a massive thing that we're going to look at and that's probably on the next slide here we'll have a look so I suppose we are going to look at Cas Quinto and Chia, which is the turning point of the story and if there's one quote I want you to learn this is the one I want you to learn 100% all right and that's on Gnaro the Jimmy talked to Rod Bioglua and Nock Nock Will that's the usual jimmy is it you're small but early tonight aren't you and that's like this is the turning point of the whole story so like this is something that you can really run with and develop yourself then right and like it's really important that like we're looking at the title on Gnara, the usual and we're able to see that by breaking his tradition his ilrucht shock the new we're able to see his downfall basically like George. so from from this sentence on Everything goes downhill for him. Like so, touch the wish of rugby or glue and ish. Take me to go on Gnaw. I guess on Gnaw a bridge there again. A dera here hold Marita a touch the rev. She is an art me care. Take an own me care. Bridge she bad news for the cliche. The cliche on Gnaw. Alright, so like 
the whole story is based on his Friday night, his three steps. He goes to the, he goes to work, he goes to the pub. He stays in the pub for a certain amount of time and he drinks his few pints. He goes to the Chinese, he orders the same thing, his curry and chop suey in the Chinese, he then walks home. That that's his, his, his three steps basically. Do you know? And he has a usual time he leaves the pub because he even says if I go home before ten o'clock, Sarah will kill me. It won't be like um, it won't be worth my way of living, and like that's really, really important because that's something that we need to think about like that. So like he has a usual time to leave, the usual time to get to the Chinese, the usual, and even Liz recognizes that like he's a small but early tonight, and like the whole thing is that like Jimmy is in the wrong place at the wrong time. Like, that's it. Like, he's in the, just like, he gets shot in the head because he's in the wrong place. So, what would happen if he just did his normal thing, did his usual thing? Would he still be alive right now? And that's what we need to question. And that's what this um, third bullet point here is saying. Like, so at the end of the day, like, he died because he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Like, if he just decided to do his usual thing and go about his, his Friday night the usual way things could be massively different and he'd probably be alive right now like do you know what i mean so like obviously this isn't like this is a fictional story but like we have this turning point is that sentence that's where everything goes wrong like we're able to we're kind of sat back or small but comfortable as we're listening to the story and um, because we're just hearing about a man on his friday night like you're like like what's going to happen like do you know what i mean and then this sentence everything turns um turns around and it's kind of like ends up not as well as he would have liked it to be. So I suppose like if you're gonna look at your answers, okay, higher level or army level, these are the three things that I would recommend you look at. You look at on Tittle, on Tama, obviously the character. So obviously on character, like the main thing you're looking at is Jimmy. It's no one else kind of like that will will gain your attention. But if you can bring in things about the title and the Tama in with your character question if Jimmy was to come up, these will be like those extra marks that you kind of need. So like I would focus on these three and there's loads of lovely notes here that you can kind of look at and take in. So I'm going to just run through them there with you. So we'll look on Tedl or do so I've got three sides on that. So you're on Tedl, so it's on Kale or the Lamid. It's the first thing that we read. It's only me new bri a go in it. So there's many different meanings to it. Or for example, you have on Ganora the Jimmy and Ganora the Liz and Ganora the 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 Yori. Okay. Second one here, the second bullet point is really, really important that I would really like you to look at, okay? And that's sucky, which is society, okay? So we're, once again, we're going back to the troubles. Do you know what I mean? So like, cut in Gnarud. So was on Gnarud, was the usual thing, doing Varu, murder? Was it for Egan, all right? And was like people's families in danger, like John, the worry. Um, so like, John, there was a lot of love, like John, family love is, is something that, is is very important for everyone but like joe was that threatened during the troubles okay so that's something to keep in mind obviously you have credit of religion the catholic egg versus the protestant egg and that's something that like you know you kind of you can kind of run with and stuff like that like and i suppose like this story has never come up for many different reasons like okay like one of the main ones is like that jimmy's children are named john Martin and elizabeth like so like joe if you're living in Belfast and your children's name are John, Margaret, and Elizabeth, chances are like, and it's kind of like employed that Jimmy is a Protestant and like Joy, judging off the kids' names like John, you have King John, you have Margaret, Margaret Thatcher, obviously, and then you have Elizabeth, like Queen Elizabeth. So like, if you're living in Belfast and your kids' names are like from the British hierarchy, like that's something that like employs that. He is, um, so obviously that's a key point that we will kind of want to look at from here. All right, so let's kind of look at the, the title and how it means for different aspects of that. So it's on Tedal Ireland, so it's Samuel, I guess it's soon to suck a Tedal and Garshke and Shot and Ganora, Dirjan Yagrina, Tanshkel, Sitta, Edushka, and the Hair and the Limit, your bloodies, the Shock to the August, the Hock to the. All right, so like if you ever get a question like that, that first bullet point is something that you could definitely use to start your essay. And I would actually just kind of recommend you have like a general open like that that you can go to. Um, so it's Omi Samba, then Faragh, and Ector Owen, Agus Kimid, Sam, please, a scale show, then Maru Sektok, a horn egg and So Maru Sektok is, um, 
sectarian murders, right? So like, um, so that's that's murders related to religion, like. Uh, Tig to doing gar gna amacht gnarod amaru agaruk Jimmy Lelin Nahisha Shin. So that third bullet point, very, very important. And it's kind of looked at like so Jimmy's death is looked at as like a normal event, a usual event, that's something that just kinda of happened regularly that like you were not kind of um that's just expected. Do you know what I mean? Like nothing was kinda of said about or anything like that. Like it was just kinda of, for that time, if someone was walking home, there's a chance you can get shot in the head. Do you know what I mean? Like it's kinda it, it's a very kinda of, sad thing but like if you look at any of the history to do with the troubles like it's it's very it's very clear that like it was a very troubled time and like Joe there was a lot of sectarian violence and stuff like that like you know and like that's something like if we look at the the story as a whole like the the whole point of the the story is like we're just we're kind of comfortable as you're reading the story and like kind of something that we look at here. Do you know what I mean? Like we're confident as you read the story and like the story kind of goes on and like George is like you're just kind of sitting back here like this is all grand but like what what am I going to get from it like do you know what I mean like what am I going to what's going to happen here like do you know what I mean like we're finding out about this man on a Friday night he's going to the pub and he's going to the Chinese and he's doing this and he's doing that and you're just like okay like do you know and then like as you see, like of wind a got got a got character less and tell Craven Gabin on Tim Galer Lash Dig the Tittle. So like we're just learning about like the titles related to every single character's normal thing. The normal thing for the teenagers, the normal thing for the waitress, the normal thing for Jimmy, the normal thing for his colleagues at work. So like as we're sitting there we're reading through the story, you're waiting for something to happen. And then all of a sudden this violence that happens and Jimmy is shot in the head and he's just there lying and all he was doing was just a normal man getting off fair one of the key words and then all of a sudden he's just dead on the on the path with his blood mixing in with the chop suey and the curry and like you have this kind of um I suppose this shock but like once again like it's kind of the story ends when like do you know what? No, we we find out no more. We we're just left with the violence of the story, and kind of like that doing Varu, that murder, but Ganaro they shin. So you see bullet point number three. The Ganadini is um on lean on AFF this morning, and like that kind of really shows the effect of the title. Like, do you know that like this murder is just a normal thing. So like, it really emphasizes that like if we're talking about on Ganaro, the usual the whole story takes place with the usual thing for every single person. So even that murder is a huge, excuse me, is a usual occurrence for everyone involved and for everyone in Belfast and in the trouble. So we have our team, all right, so our team. All right, so you have Fregan, Violence, Trablodi, Satushkirt, Kredov, the Catholic Hague versus the Protestunig, Gnara D, Grotai, like Stair, Tema and stuff like that. So like, we just have a look at them here. So on Tema Erlan, it's Omi Tema Ector Sishkel Shaw on Gnara de la Deirdre de Green, inner boss, I guess, Gross. So there's obviously a lot of, there's death, obviously, there's love. But the main thing here is that, like, I would focus on is for Egan, is the violence and the effect it has on a normal person. Um, Trina Shkel, Boulter le Gnardini, a den of Gnara de. So throughout the story, we are, we meet people, they're, they're normal, we're meeting normal people that do their normal things. And Dina goes to bar, people drinking in the pub, Tishti the extracula party Savalia, parents struggling to put kids to bed, frastily egg dialogue and the customary. Okay, and we've also like waitresses and waiters dealing with customers. And you can use examples from the story to kind of emphasize this bit. So that's why I have Louis Nassambly on show. So like Joe, you kinda Dina goes to bar and give me the scene. Do you know what I mean? Let me know. Like if we're talking about Dina I go as a bar, let me know. Like, it's a Friday night, they were all gathered in the pub, there was no sound on the TV. We, and then you have kind of the point where we have the shake track and the posh taste of value. So give me the scene again, give me Sarah trying to put John to bed, trying to have that battle between the two of them, and then on, and so on and so forth. Like, so that's something to keep in mind. And you also have like the relationship between 
um, Jimmy and Liz and kind of like how Liz kind of confides in Jimmy because he's such a nice guy and a normal person that like it's something just to keep in mind as you go through it. Um, Sue's good there and she gets crying and Dini hugs and a hot drink she shin atmosphere can pour around that. I really like this point so like I would use this in, a, in, a, in an answer as well so like throw the story like a comfortable atmosphere to create it's just a normal atmosphere with normal people's lives and then at the end this violence just leaves us shocked do you know what i mean like so like we're kind of like you're comfortable you're reading it you're like where's this going do you know what i mean like what, what am i supposed to do with this story like it's not going anywhere like i'm kind of like you're nearly bored reading like i'm just hearing about this man and he's like a great character and he loves his wife and he loves his kids and Joe, he can't wait to sit in the seat or on Tullog, let, let Sarah like, fake into their DVD, and then all of a sudden he dies. He gets shot for no reason. So, like, that's something, like, for you to keep in mind as you're going through it, like, do you know what I mean? And, like, Joe, Dog and Frag and Jimmy booked are there in a leaf for Marv. So, like, we have this, like, this nice Gnawfer dead in with his blood mixing with the Chinese, and, like, you have this, this kind of this main event and then all of a sudden bang it's gone so like we know kind of as readers we don't get an opportunity to kind of it's very hard to digest everything that happened and like so like you're kind of you're still in shock as you're in you're just like where did that come from it literally came out like if i used to ask anyone about the story like i wouldn't say like i wouldn't say oh you know the story about the man and like he's in the pub or you know the story with the man and he goes to the Chinese. Or you know the story where like the man he loves his wife and he loves his kids. No, none of that. When you're talking about Ganarod, on Ganarod, you're talking about oh look the story when he was walking home he got shot in the head. So that's our key point. Do you know what I mean? That's the shock factor. So like we're not talking about like anything else within the story. We're talking about the part the very end where he gets shot in the head and it's just out of nowhere and like that violence like that's the only way to describe the story do you know what i mean so that's something to keep in mind as you're going through just keep an eye out for it and kind of like emphasize that like that's where the main part of the story is that's what we have to go to work with and then just to finish off like on tema like if you knock right on for egg and fit the food that trade scale take their girl ganar or the winter bell first at egg and home i'm going to say fit the food to tree say on the dean so even though like we don't see any violence like in the first part of the story the second part of the story and in the final third of the story you finally do like it's just expected as the ganara the usual thing for people of belfast of belfast August, and it was just kind of like throughout the story for people to kind of work off themselves like do you know what i mean and it's that's like this cliche on shalee and her crooked dear jenny green a tame on frag it's a scale like cutter snuff august and she moss tubbing um leave real dark so obviously like the death like joe it wasn't like essential for for jimmy to die and like you know we were able to see a massive contrast between a normal person who was jimmy who is like total opposite to violence getting shot and he's the one that the violence comes on to like do you know what I mean like so like that's something just to keep in mind as well like that like you can use the cutters not um to, to tie in with with the tema and like do it like like I said it wasn't essential for him to die but maybe it was in a way that like you know it's something that we really need to think about um within the story that like you know, Jimmy is just doing his job, just like not even doing his job, he's just going home, you know, and like this sudden death, like it's just a normal thing that happened throughout the, throughout the troubles and something that like really emphasizes the key part of it. And then we just have the character, so obviously like the thing we're going to look at are the things that you want to focus on and like maybe that's something that I might do another video on is Jimmy and like you know, if coming up to the exams Leaving cert or junior cert or leaving cert um exams, like Jimmy is the brave character. He's the one you're going to focus on. So have a lot prepared on Jimmy and stage it out and have examples as well. So like you have Jimmy at the beginning of the story, and that's like I would always go Jimmy's a fub or Jimmy's a talk to Arna. 
then you have Jimmy St. Vialin, and then Jimmy Arashley of Alia. So there's your three. And have really, really good detailed examinations of Jimmy as a person and his traits and as a character in those three ter in, in those three kind of aspects. And if you do that, that'll make a massive difference. And he stands for so the third point here, Shasin Che the Gokra Tokyart, Kor Shimpli Og Sananta. Alright, so he stands for everything that is correct, that is fair, that is simple, and that is innocent. And it's Maffer A, a hail of a boss and a triplody. And like that's a nice point here. And the very last point I'm gonna leave you with is his life is a metaphor. His life and his death are a metaphor for the troubles. How a man who is just a very quiet man that goes about his life, um could could end very very quickly, I guess. Um, for the the death and his death obviously during the troubles, um, is something that's really important. So I hope that's okay for everyone. I hope you, uh, you enjoyed it. And um, if you've any questions or anything like that, feel free to send me um, a message on on Instagram, and I'll try my best to help you any way I can. All right. So best of luck, and I hope you enjoyed. And please give the give the video uh, a thumbs up and share as well. Be much appreciated. Um, Garamino Garamino Mahagud, I'll just keep making um, good luck. Song for.